this with the rye that I'm getting. When you find a good uh, source of the rye, I've got uh, one from Whole Foods again. Uh, natural grocer. So I, I ran out of my first, uh, actually my second bag ever. And it was really, really simple. Here's my first one that emptied out. That's what's in the jar right now. Um, the last of it is right here. So I just fill it up just under half. And all I do is add water. I just add water. It's a third, it's a third by volume or uh, at less to a quarter. So when I'm filling up the jar, it's just under half. So that's good. And then I measured the volume. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. But I'll put that in the next jar. Okay. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to measure the volume. And just to be simple, I do millimeters. So. This is 400, that's just under, I'd say four and a quarter. So calculate a third of that. Four and a quarter times point three. So that's one forty one, one forty two. So a hundred hundred and forty two um milliliters. Double check. Yeah, one hundred and forty-two. Uh, this is what they call these days no prep. So I'm just gonna measure that out with the uh, sink here. So it's very very little water. I already overshot. One hundred. So that'd be under one fifty. I would rather under, sh 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 uh, I'd say right there is good enough. So this line right here is the 150 line and the water level is under it. And I just put it in the jar and that's it. I put th this whole thing in the pressure canner. I put the lid on loosely like that. And, uh, and that goes straight in the pressure canner right now. And then this one, next one up, I got, I'm gonna fill it up to the same, uh, according to the jar itself, so under half, because it expands and I want space to shake it. Yeah, that is about three fifty. I say three seventy five. So we'll do that again with the calculation three seventy five times point three, uh, about one and a quarter, a hundred and twenty five milliliters. <laughs> 